All right guys, Papa Pepper back once again on the Abundant Harvest Homestead. In this video, I'm going to cover what I believe is the number one mistake that preppers and homesteaders make when it comes to food storage. And I see it time and time and time again, and it drives me crazy. And with everything going on right now, of course, a lot of people are looking to get more set up. And a lot of people who think they may be set up may not be set up as quite as well as they thought that they were. Um, before I kind of dive into this, I'm not here to pick on anyone, make fun of anyone or anything like that. I mean, guys, this is my root cellar, okay? It's been like a year, year and a half in the process and I'm still not very far, okay? So in some ways I don't have a lot of room to talk. I, I, I'm come from that point of view right now, but also when I do make this, and finish this, there's some things that I'm gonna do that's going to set me up in a way that a lot of people aren't. And I just wanna throw this idea out there so that people know and think about this ahead of time before they lose everything they work so hard for. You see guys, because when it comes to taking more of your own food into your own hands, there's a things like foraging and gardening and hunting that we all can be doing, or even if you're just buying it at the store, this still applies, but I'll tell you what, this meat here is venison, okay? I hunted a number of deer last year and I had a lot of hours in the woods just trying to get them when I wasn't even successful. But even when I was successful, there was a lot of work that went into things like this. I had to drag the deer out, I had to dress it, I had to skin it, I had to clean it, I had to hang it. Um, we cut them into pieces. Some of this stuff, it took my children, ages nine and down, some hours to cut them into little pieces. They all wanted to help, so we let them help. It's a lot of work, but they have hours invested in this. Then my wife had to sit there and can all of this. There's a lot of work that went into this and I don't want to lose it just like that. The same thing comes into play with gardening. It took a lot of effort to grow these cucumbers and turn them into pickles. Not every year is a good year for pickles for us. This one was, so we put up quite a few. We've got some wild garlic in there, we've got some homegrown dill in there, and we've got pickles that we grew ourselves, and then we've stored them. And I don't want to lose this just because of one foolish mistake. So what I'm about to do is just show you guys some very short um, screenshots. And all I did is I just kind of Googled some stuff, looked on YouTube for a minute, and kind of got a couple of videos pulled up. I don't know any of these people personally. I'm not making fun of any of them. I'm just using them as examples of what some people do wrong and what some people do right in my own opinion. So I'm gonna roll that and then we'll be back here in a second. So if you look here, you notice a well-stocked pantry. But there's one problem. There is no lip on any of these shelves. If there is an earthquake or some sort of tremor, some sort of um, explosion, some sort of something that shakes the earth, a lot of this inventory, a lot of this hard work can go to waste as it falls off of these shelves and crashes to the ground. This is the number one mistake that I see. Here again, we see a lot of well-stocked shelves, but there is absolutely nothing to stop them from falling off those shelves. Here we're dealing with plastic. Plastic can still break. It's, it's better than glass as far as holding up to a fall. And there is some glass here too, but again, we've got to have a lip on this stuff. And here's a couple more just showing something you commonly see once again where you have these nice shelves. And most of the time, you know, our world is pretty still. But every once in a while, when it gets rattled, is the time when you can lose everything that you've worked really hard for when it comes to storing things in a pantry or in a root cellar. Now, if you notice here, there's a couple of green strings or ropes tied across. Personally, I would put, you know, some wood in the front, but you see that somebody's put some effort into this one to prevent these things just from falling off the shelf. And then you see that there's also metal ones that you can buy that, um, you know, come with a lip. This is a much better place to store your food, especially glass jars, especially stuff you did yourself. So again, guys, I am not trying to pick on anyone, but I'm trying to put this out there both for people who uh, already have things, like some of those examples in this video. If you already have a root cellar, think about how you can just add one thin strip of board or a thin rope or anything really to prevent these just from sliding straight off the shelf. All you need is something. I don't care if it's a stick screwed to the thing, you know, 
from edge to edge, it'll stop it from falling off. We've had earthquakes in my area. I've felt tremors here. I wouldn't normally think about that, but they've happened. If they happen worse, they can destroy a lot of things. And if I've got hundreds of jars of stuff that I grew myself and hunted myself, there's no way I want to see those just smashed on the ground with a whole bunch of shards of glass you know you can't even really use it for animal feed at that point because my chickens would love this there's other you know animals my ducks would eat this but if it's all smashed full of glass i don't want to feed it to them so it would be like a complete waste a giant mess people please think about these things and even look in your own house maybe you just have store-bought stuff maybe you just have a regular pantry but if you have shelves like that, consider adding something to the top of it. You could really almost take like push pins or small screws and just put a thin strip of a material across the front of it. Just something that when it starts shaking is going to catch these and stop them from tipping over the edge. Hopefully you guys found this stuff um, beneficial. Again, I just wanted to kind of kindly and in preparation share this with people because a lot of people, especially now, are looking to do things like having a food supply. And I'll tell you what, one violent shaking of the earth in your area, to have it lose all of your glass jars, would be absolutely terrible. So think about these things ahead of time, get prepared. Um, like I said, this is my opinion. This is what I think is the number one. What do you think is one of the worst things as far as the mistakes that people make in food storage. To me, this would be number one because it really jeopardizes everything. And that's why I felt like making this video. I appreciate you guys. I'll roll a couple of other videos as far as uh, potential selections for you guys. If you want to check out some other stuff, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time. Papa out.